Okay. All right. I am back. All right. So let's see. Pulse Dow is doing pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, I think I bought PLD here when it was like around fourteen dollars, I think. But at the time, it was paying like forty percent daily APR. And of course, we had the Russia-Ukraine stuff. Then solidly launched. Phantom Fees went out of whack. Still are. It's like, it's like oh man, I can't, I can't, 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 cannot catch a break, right? <laughs> But finally, it's look, it's very stable. It's gone way back above peg, right? After bottoming out around, I think four dollars, maybe it was as low as two ninety six. I don't even know. Let me see. Uh, let's do a one hour chart. Uh, very more construction. Uh, it went as low as about three dollars and sixty six cents, three ninety. Yeah, so I remember it was lower than three sixty six, but not that much lower. Okay, so it was like around three sixty six. So it's already done like a hundred percent return or whatever. It took a couple days, and then here's P shares. Now I happen to not actually know why this thing is so high or what their you know spiel is. Uh, I tried one hundred PLS on Pulse Chain. An algorithmic stable coin pegged to the price of one phantom on phantom and 100 PLS on pulse chain. Oh, okay. So these guys are actually a cross chain thing. Oh, okay. That's why these go. Oh, so this is actually legit. I didn't actually know that they were cross chain already. I don't even know what pulse chain is, but I'm glad that they're doing it. So that's probably why this is actually higher than it normally should be. Oh, okay. I didn't actually know this. See, that's why I like doing these videos, right? Not only do I help you guys out and teach you a lot of stuff. I find things out in real time too, and I like it that way because A, it's authentic, and then B, it's really the best, well, it's the most efficient way for me personally to spend my time while also learning at the same time, right? Because I could spend time learning in private, and I do that all the time, but what if I could do that while also getting this work done, right? This video done. I kill two birds or three birds with one stone, sometimes, you know, dozens of birds at one stone with one stone. I also sound like a fucking crazy uh, murderer. Animal cruelty. Someone call uh, PETA. Actually, don't call PETA. Those those guys are stupid. So anyway, uh, so I bought this around fourteen bucks a piece. Uh, I actually checked my yield wolf. I'm actually now in uh, my core position. I think I spent sixty four dollars on Pulse Chain at the time. So Pulse. So fifty percent Pulse, fifty percent Phantom, obviously. Now it's worth $67, $68, and the amount of LP tokens actually almost is now basically double on my Yield Wolf. So when this thing goes back up, hopefully, I mean, this thing's already kind of high up there. I mean, we're technically 3.56 above peg, but it already bottomed out, and I know the rest of the, mar rest of the crypto markets and stock markets are already going straight. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Basically, all the losses have just been recovered. <laughs> Yeah, see, no one gives a shit about the Russia-Ukraine thing, right? And uh, even Ukraine right now is, like, bitching about that. Yeah, I already called it last night. You can go check my Twitter for that. Yeah, we were never going to do anything. And none of us want to, right? I don't want to go to war with Russia. No one does. And I'll tell you, why are we going to war with fucking Russia, right? It's like, I live in America. It's like, why do I care about Ukraine? You know, I feel bit. Well, actually, I don't feel sorry at all for the Ukrainians, but... I mean, you know, you're you're stuck in that position, right? Because you didn't stand up to censorship. You didn't stand up to George Soros. And you believed all the lies of the media. You didn't stand up to, like... Because you're actually banned from speaking Russian or electing pro-Russia candidates in Ukraine, right? And then on top of that, they're constantly piss uh, taunting Russia and then saying, hey, we're going to join NATO. It's like, what the fuck did you expect to happen? All right, so oh, it's a mess. It's a mess there. And then now they're putting out like fake tweets and whatever, pretending that they're beating Russia. But yeah, if you're beating Russia, how come Russia basically owns everything now in Ukraine? It's like, like the prop, the propaganda on the situation is just, it's just so, it's just so disgusting. But I mean, I've seen it time and again. And hopefully, unless you're very new to me. All right, and you're not uh, up to speed on what really happens geopolitically. Yeah, you already have seen this bullshit play out before, right? It's the same bullshit that plays out in the stock markets, the same shit that happens in the crypto markets, right? Right now we're doing pretty well, right? Everything's going back up, right? Very nice. And which also means I'm going to pull out a lot more profit today. Because yesterday I only pulled out like a hundred and... 
twenty-five or hundred fifty I, I pulled out a very I don't even remember. I pulled out a lot less money than I normally would, but I, I pulled it out from Snowy All. So yeah, I think it was hundred fifty. So it wasn't that bad. But and I pulled out a hundred bucks from my two shares and three shares as my prop. No, I didn't touch three shares. I pulled out like seventy. I pulled out ultimately eighty dollars. No, I have to take into account gas fees. I pulled in like seventy five dollars after gas fees for my two shares, uh, FTM and partial FTM Yield Wolf. Uh, you know, I take profits every day, of course. And I put that into Comet Finance when it was at four dollars and six cents. So I'm very happy about that. So actually, I didn't do too bad yesterday. Uh, but you know, it's gonna be nice because I'm gonna be pulling out a lot more profit today so that's that's gonna be nice except maybe from snowy owl because that thing seems to be stable around uh now i'm just curious what is snowy owl at six dollars and 94 cents so it's around seven dollars might actually go lower i guess we'll have to see but yeah um i mean that's just how it goes so i don't remember why i went to that diatribe but basically pulse dow is continuing to go up a little bit now that i actually understand why it's so far above peg Again, I did not know they were a uh, cross chain. So thanks to the elevated gas fees, which I bitched about in the last video, which is on purpose, by the way, and it's here to stay. That's my personal opinion. Obviously, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm not going to be wrong. Not usually. Not with shit like this. I can read people instantly like a fucking book, right? Like a digital book, even though I don't read digital books anymore. Cause I'm just, there's, not, there's not much more for me to read. You know, I... I you know, because now it's more about thinking out of the box. That's my form of reading. Uh, this is actually my first experience with the cross-chain thing, right? That actually is working already. It's battle-tested for at least at least a few days. In the middle of a, uh, you know, ca geopolitical catastrophe, which takes down the markets temporarily, right? With the whole Russia-Ukraine thing. So this is very valuable knowledge to me. This actually tells me that yeah, this cross chain shit actually works. So I'm I'm curious to see how 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 other tomb forks when they go cross chain because like, I know a couple of them already are. You know I, I'm kind of see what what's gonna happen with their price action. But in the meantime, oh yeah, I'm farming it up, man. I mean the APR is gonna yeah oh yeah look at that TVL. Actually maybe TVL was always this big. But uh yeah. But anyway, you, know, you have PLD, right? Pulse shares, it's continuing to skyrocket as we speak. You have uh, Pulse token, I'm sorry. And you have Pulse shares, P shares. Unfortunately, I'm in a lot of projects and they all call themselves P shares, right? Because I always think of P shares as piggy, 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 oink, 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 right? Piggy shares. Oh well. Just have to keep, keep that in mind. Some asshole kind of just. I didn't even dump. What? Oh, the. The price was misquoted. Okay, and someone just aped in sixteen thirty bucks in the pulse. Okay, all right, yeah. So this thing is just uh, wibble wobbly. All right, so let's see. Yeah, these are ended. Okay, yeah, I was like, huh? All right, so you stake on the website at twenty one percent. All right, for the base token pair, for the P shares, you get seventeen percent. Not bad. Okay, very good. Let's take a look. I mean, I haven't even bothered looking at the... Oh, so this is interesting. The boardroom is actually not live yet. All right, it's, 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 it's going to print its first clowns in 24 hour, 23 hours and 34 minutes. So that's why it's going up. Shit. So it's going to print a lot of tokens, and then uh, usually it dumps. Okay. So, uh, I didn't know this either. So, well, I mean, I'm already stuck. So, you know, I'm like, whatever. But I think maybe the market might have already priced it in, and that's why it went down so much. So, I, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. But bear this in mind. This is the as of, as of this video, it's not going to print until basically tomorrow, 24 hours from now, which would be Saturday my time, right? So, 11 a.m. tomorrow, New York City time for me. So this PLD price swap is 52.16. That's actually wrong because this thing is set to pulse chain, I think. That yeah, this is actually wrong. It's actually, you know, whatever I said here. It, the top is actually 3.62. Unless there's actually something I'm missing here. So I don't know what the APR on this is yet. 
Okay, we already looked at the charts, right? And as always, well, now that we know that there's gonna, there could be very large potential selling dumping pressure on PLD, again, I avoid, I, I would not recommend the shares, all right? Because yeah, this could go down 50%, but you're gonna feel it a lot harder when this goes down 50% plus, right? Because when this goes down, it lowers the APR on everything, which you know creates a negative death loop kind of thing until it really bottoms out. All right, the most extreme example of that right now is S Draco. And I'm glad they're finally coming back up because that thing was way oversold. And when that, uh, S Draco, their shares for Draco, well, it was at one point like $4 or three ninety six or something. Or it, I think it was actually in the $3 range. It's like, this makes no sense. And their base token was like literally like pennies, like what, 22 cents? So, and again, uh, it was like, yeah, I'm just letting it auto compound. So when Draco Finance kind of recovers a little bit, oh yeah, you know that, that all those all those auto yield bulls, the uh, constant compounding shits. Yeah, that's gonna make me a lot of effing money, you know. Because now that we're uh, well, probably well, definitely me, but probably many of you. Like now that we're in a lot of these tomb forks, I'm now starting to think, you know, bigger picture. This is basically like a, you're running a farm. That's literally what you're doing, right? You're planting crops. You're letting it do its own thing, and then occasionally, you know, you micromanage it or whatever. In fact, you don't really have to micromanage this, but, you know, the only thing uh, that I'm interested in is how much money am I going to make before I go to bed tonight, right? You know, I pull my profits, right? That's the fun part. I'm, I'm harvesting my, my crops here. So, uh, I guess they're working on, uh, uh, ah, great. There's always someone working above, below, or behind me, but that's okay. I'm actually glad that they're there. Uh, okay, so, and they're only noisy during business hours anyway, so it's like, who cares? <clears throat> All right, so, yeah, I don't know what's up with these charts, but I also don't care because that's a lot of effing money that's, you know, buying in. Perfect. All right, so there's not really much more to say. From now on, I'm really not going to look into renouncing. You can just check it for the docs yourself. My camera's covering the docs link, right? You want to, I'll just click it just for this. I need to check yourself, but if it's on Yield Wolf, then I'm fine with it, right? Because they're because again, they always require at least one contract to be renounced. At least I'm that's that's what I'm going by, all right? I'm just going by what I'm observing, all right? Because Yield Wolf does actually have specific guidelines, obviously, right? And it's working so far. And in fact, I cannot think of a project that was on Yield Wolf that then rug pulled, right? You know, apparently Rip A Finance is having some kind of problem, but that's not a rug pull. They're, they're, it's actually a contract exploit. And I believe Partial Finance actually had the same thing, but they said they already, uh, they already fixed it and pumped the hole. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different project. But either way, actually it's not Partial Finance. It's some, it's, I think it's something else. I can't remember. I don't know. There's just so much crap going on. And I know it's not affecting me personally, so that's why I don't have to care. Yeah, thank God, right? Uh, by the way, this is just uh, filtered water. I better not pour it down too much. I'm going to spill over my keyboard. <clears throat> they also removed the uh, floor writing, because here in America, we floor fluoridate all our water. That's why we have very nice teeth. But fluoride causes... It causes uh, brain damage in both men and women, but in women it causes dementia, and in men it causes them to be docile. It's very bad for you. It's it, it's basically poison. It's very bad for you. <clears throat> right? Which is why, as far as I know, all of Europe bans fluoride, right? For that reason. So. Alright. <clears throat> These frogs in my throat need to get the F out. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got more buys. So you gotta check out Pulse Chain. Uh, wait, no, not Pulse Chain. Uh, Pulse Dow Finance, right? Again, I'm in FTM PLD, right? And you, if you really want to go crazy, you can go in the P shares. Again, as always, I'm not, no, I'm no longer recommending that. <clears throat> in fact, you can kind of see it right here, right? Constant dumping pressure. Meanwhile, PLD is going straight up, right? Because that's actually another consideration now, right? Because again, you know that at one point it could go below peg. Or in PLD's case, because it's like such a valuable coin, apparently, it'll be slightly above peg, you know, under extreme circumstances. 
I don't know what the next crisis is going to be, but it's definitely the energy crisis, gasoline crisis. Though I don't really see how that's going to tank the markets. It's just going to like piss off, you know, poor people. And obviously the government doesn't care about poor people like you and me. Well, actually, maybe a lot of you actually have more money than me, which would be ideal. Uh, but I really do think it's going to be China annexing Taiwan, right? Because, you know, China is literally laughing at everyone. I mean, I would laugh too. I feel like Joe Biden is just so dumb. Uh, I mean, I already did the tweet on that. It's like, you know, what he did with China, and then China just literally laughed at him. And <laughs> I can't, I, I just can't believe it. It was so funny. And then. You know, that's going to cause a lot of FUD. Um, I don't actually know how much American military assets that we have in Taiwan. Uh, but as long as it's mostly being handled by, like, the local Taiwanese populace, they're just going to just forfeit everything to China, right? Uh, <clears throat> and because, again, we're not willing to do anything, right? We're not going to start World War Three with Russia over Ukraine, so you're going to attack China, which is even bigger and meaner. Right? They also have a much larger fucking Navy and Army. And on top of that, ha like half the U.S. economy right here runs on Chinese stuff. Right? All our shit's been made in China. Right? The Chinese also like invest in like a lot of shit here in America too. Like, they own real estate. They, all, they, they, they pay Democrats for, like, for campaign contributions. Like what the fuck do you think you're going to do to China? Right? It's like, oh yeah, I just don't have hot Taiwan. So that's going to cause – that's going to be an interesting situation. Uh, I'm sure when it happens, I don't know when, but I know it will, right, because it's the next logical thing. Uh, yeah, shit's going to tank, and again, that's why you want to be taking profits every day, so that when the next crisis does come, and it will fucking happen, right, you know, it could before it was the fucking virus shit, right, now you don't hear much about it anymore, thank God. Right now, now it's Russia, Ukraine. What's the next crisis? Right, this shit's gonna tank again. And now that we know that we have confirmation that crypto markets are being manipulated, I mean, yeah, you're gonna expect more problems, right? When everything tanks, so will PLD, so will Comet, well, so will two ohm and three ohm and everything else that we're in, right? Especially when I'm in, right? That's just part. Of, that's, just, that's just the way it is, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> So let the, let those asshole globalists play their game. We play our game, pull profits every day. And then, you know, when you have all those financial reserves, stable coins and whatevers, yeah, you could buy the bottom like what everyone else did yesterday. I wanted to buy the bottom yesterday and two days ago, and I did. I, I tried to. I'm very happy about it. All right. And I'm going to be richly rewarded. I'm sure some of you did, too. All right, but if you didn't, that's fine. There'll be always there'll always be new opportunities. So, all right, <sighs> I think that's that. I don't know. I <clears throat> I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know why Satan's jamming up my throat with these frogs, but you know I'll I'll, I'll get rid of them. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. It's gonna be a quick update video on two shares and three shares, I believe. All right, because that thing's been getting hammered. Uh, now it's in a ni very nice recovery. I think I think I think both are now up 100 to 125 percent, maybe a little more. Right? I mean, at one point, three shares was at like 900 dollars range. Like what? Right? Two shares was at like what five, six hundred. I'm like, they're, 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 this is way too oversold. Now I don't have to do anything because again, I'm in Yield Wolf, so I know I'm auto compounding and therefore buying more and more two shares and three shares automatically. So I was like. This is fantastic. When this shit goes back up, and which it is now, cha-ching, money, 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 all right? Like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 uh, spread the video around, and man, you know, I kind of don't want to end this just yet. I just want to keep seeing PLD keep going up in value. Oh, yeah, look at, all, look at those buys. Look at, that. look at all those buys. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, so see you next uh, video. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, I gotta do Apex Finance eventually. I gotta do Kitty Finance, even though I'm not in that. I have to check out Alpha Nose as well, and I'm not in that either. I don't know. I might actually. I don't know. Alpha Nose has just been doing so well for the Elite Discord that I guess I'll just have to. I don't know. We'll see. And then I even have charged, charged DeFi not Fi in the content queue. Uh, so I don't know. I really need to do the strategy video for Toon Fork. I also have to figure out. Uh, I also have to figure out how to write the 
title of the strategy video so that, like, because that's going to be, like, basically my, what do I want to call it? Basically, like, one of my flagship videos, essentially, because that's where you actually get all the real good info, right? And it's going to be version one, because I'm sure I'm going to have to make changes and improvements over time, because obviously crypto moves fast. So things change and improve, and sometimes things, you know, die out, so... All right, see you next video. I'll leave out two shares and three shares real quick. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And yeah, happy farming.